Welcome to Roadfly TV, your latest automotive fix from Roadfly.com. Hi, I'm Ross Rappaport with Roadfly.com, and this edition of Roadfly TV spotlights the baddest police cruiser ever made. It's time to protect and serve. Ford's Crown Victoria has held a virtual monopoly over police budgets for the last decade. Cops seem to prefer large American sedans with rear-wheel drive and V8 engines. That pretty much disqualifies cars like the Chevy Impala, Dodge Intrepid, or Ford Taurus. That leaves the Crown Vic's dominance virtually unchallenged. Enter the Dodge Charger. The Charger is a bona fide American muscle car. This particular model is equipped with Chrysler's 5.7 liter Hemi V8, making 340 horsepower and pushing it to 60 miles an hour in six seconds flat. That's two seconds ahead of the Crown Vic. All that performance is evident as soon as you step on the gas. We're told that this Charger has a top speed of 148 miles an hour and can get around a racetrack significantly faster than a comparably equipped Crown Victoria Cruiser. It's a little sluggish off the line due to a curb weight of over two tons, but once it gets going, watch out. One thing I really like about this Charger as opposed to the Crown Vic is the heavier, more direct steering. Oh geez, we got a litter bug. Oh, hold on. Do you know why I pulled you over? No, sir. Do you think this world is your trash can? No. Apparently you do. Step out of the car. Yeah, I'm serious. You're coming with me. Okay. Maybe next time I'll think twice about littering. Officer, can't I just pay the fine and go? No, ma'am. Please be quiet. Oh, we got a public urinator. Unbelievable. Sir, sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to put that away. Sir, please holster your weapon. All right, sir, this park is not a toilet. Get in there. Are you paying too? Hey, is this thing got a Hemi? The only advantage that the Crown Vic can still claim over the Charger is price. This V8 Charger costs around 30 grand as opposed to around 27 for a Crown Vic. However, the V6 Charger costs around the same as the Ford and offers the same level of performance. I've always been a Ford guy and I'd love to see them update their lineup to compete with this V8 Charger Cruiser. If they don't, I'm sorry to say it'll be lights out for the Crown Vic, just like it is for these two criminals in my back seat.